tonight boxcar brewing uh, and it's their timeless strata ipa it's got some writing on the back let me just do that um i'll just read what it says on the back doesn't really help you for the beer but there's a little bit of a backstory so it says mount oh it's 6.5 percent volume mountains move slowly time moves slower if all the rocks and planets in the universe exist, then what is so special about our minds? Put yourself in the mind of a nebula. Just be the universe. Stop pretending you're, the, you're anything else. A bit deep. Yeah. Tad on the deep side. Good evening for Tuesday night. <laughs> right, let's pour this out. I need to do a, a, a glass wash. I've got about 30 glasses in front of me. So, juicy looking pour, straight away. Looks like orange juice with a little white head. I haven't heard the emails, got email klaxon yet. Good old YouTube. Always good with notifications. So, let me just um, click on that. Click on pop up chat. And then I can actually crack on. There we go. Good evening. So Boxcar, never had anything from Boxcar before. Their Timeless Strata IPA, 6.5%. Hazy, orange pour, big, big head on it. <sighs> Tropical nose. I do find a lot, good evening. I do find a lot of the beers these days. There's a lot of IPAs about. And, uh, oh, I had to drop cakes off for the wife. And, uh, yeah, and then tech, my son, he's got, he's got a work company car and he didn't know how to do the, the petrol cap. Although, to be honest, I got to the I got to the petrol station and I couldn't do it either. I had to look around and I thought, press the, the unlock button. And then you go to the back to the petrol cap, push it in and out, and it came out. So, yeah, I know. Stood there at the go, I was going, I had a bloody old jump in this. Bonjour. So, looks like it's going to be a juice fest of a beer. Definitely smells that sort of way. Oh, yeah. Definite juice fest. And what a lovely day. Yeah, um, dropping cakes off. Yeah, it's my other other job when I get home. The wife, good evening. The wife gets me dropping bloody cakes off. Didn't you review some one of these the other day, Mister Kent Bear Reviews? Boxcar, I'm sure you did. Well, I've got one stout for tomorrow, but um, God knows if it's. I'm still going to be doing a live at the moment. My daughter's just been took to hospital. Uh, now she's gonna have a baby any day soon and uh, she's got a bit of bleeding down below and they're not sure if the midwife caused it yeah not sure if the midwife caused it earlier yeah yeah and so I minute mean, my wife's a bit panicking now and uh, yeah I thought you I thought I watched one of your beer reviews the other day. I know, you, you do. I mean, obviously with babies, there's always little things with babies. So hopefully it's nothing. And hopefully it's just the fact that the baby wants to show his face. But uh, bless him. Good evening. He actually been at work on your computer at home or been at work actually at work then again sat down all day yeah yeah let's hope so yeah she's been in and out of the hospital the last few weeks loads saturday yeah northern monks yeah any northern monks although to be honest i'm hoping good evening yeah yeah let's hope so uh, we don't really know anything at the moment. A wooden chair at home. Oh, Jesus. I bet your arse is killing them and your back. Uh, um. Yeah, 
Yeah, the blue ticks are because um, the other day we had some um, people peeing about on the channel. So I just put a load. I put a load of people as moderators so that if anybody prats about again, there's a good chance that somebody. Yeah, a lot of spanners. Uh, there's a good chance that somebody will just kick them off, you know, instead of me having to reach across and mess about. Yeah, very cloudy beer, juicy. Uh, first time from boxcar, never had a boxcar beer before. Um, 6.5%. Mansfield's not far away as well. It's only like 15 minutes up the road from my house. Do you go to the football matches then when, when in normal times? I used to go to watch Nottingham Forest, but I'm not paying 30 quid, especially not at the moment, because our team's not the greatest at the moment. It's It gets depressing. <laughs> Bless you. It's nice when they win. It's not nice when you're sat in the stand, it's pissing down with rain, you're freezing, and the team are losing. Everton, bless you. A double mild. I've not had a double mild before. That's a new one on me. Surprising, isn't it? I mean, it's a nice juicy beer. It's... Um, To be honest, I only I've only I've only heard of them because Mr. Kemp Beer Reviews, he actually did a review on his channel a week or two ago. Or maybe I caught a review. I found my YouTube, especially for me, I'll go on and I'll see something and I'll think, oh, next time I'm on, I'll, I'll make sure I look at that. Then I go on again and it's totally disappeared. And uh, unless I start going through people's channels. That then half the time I'm just looking at mine to make sure I ain't done it wrong. Oh, what a lovely spring day today. I must take um, a video one day of the birds at Callum, where I work. The birds um, singing today, it was so intense at times. It's, this must have been about 20 different birds, if not more, all chattering away. Ruby Reviews. Don't know that one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll be seeing weddings soon. That should be interesting. Session IPA Mosaic. <laughs> And Mr. Blue Nose Beer Reviews has actually just come online, it looks like. Good evening. So, yeah. I need to start alternating. Good evening. Alternating the beers. You know, a lot of this craft stuff, it's all juicy orange IPA. And, uh, yeah, I need to alternate, yeah. Uh, sometimes, does anybody else get a bit of fatigue of seeing the same type of beer? I mean, I, I love beers, don't get me wrong. But I, I do get bored of seeing everything's a chuffing IPA these days. I might just review a Christmas beer next, just for the sake of it. There is a lot of IPAs. I mean, I mean, obviously, obviously, there's a hell of a lot of bloody breweries. Um, can you mix orange juice with IPA? I suppose you can. Yeah. Yeah, that's why with me, I like to chop and change. I like to go, good evening. I like to go from lagers to beers to ciders to spirits to wines. And then obviously with beers, to porters, to stouts, and everything in between. 
Good evening. I'll just ring the bell, 10 minutes in. Um, yeah, pretty decent here, thank you. Yeah, it was, it was a cake one, yeah. I had a cake one first. Well, we, had, we dropped some cupcakes off that are being, um, I'm sure I've, I've drank Western's Vintage. It was all right, strong. Yeah, this is why I like, you know, the quirky stuff, um, different flavoured stuff. That's what I like. I like to go for. I don't want to be drinking the same old tropical stuff all the time. And um, I did a sneaky review earlier about three o'clock when I got home. Well, about quarter to four, actually. Um, I did the 2.8% Tolly. Uh, reviewed that earlier. But yeah. First actual beer, proper beer anyway. Bless you, good on you. What are you going to do then? Make some, get a shed and convert it. <laughs> seems seems like we're all getting dragged out. So yeah, mixing your beers or just having something different, it makes it makes it so so much more interesting. I know it, it, you can the fatigue can get to you. It's like at Christmas, you know, when you're eating one dark beer after another dark beer, it's like oh god, not another bleeding porter or another stout. Electric's dead easy to bang in the shed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've reviewed Fuller's Honeydew. Yeah, it's on the channel. It's all right. It's not the best of the Fuller's, to be fair. You know, the Fuller's do make some great stuff. And I'll tell you a deal that I seen last night on Waitrose. Um, they've got on their four for six on Waitrose. Fuller's Golden Pride, which is £2.50 all day long, on their four for six, any four for six. And, you know, but what they also had, and it's gone out of stock, was the new Marston's one. Um, the new Marston, the Horning Low, number three. Um, yeah, orange juice. Even I'm getting bored with orange juice now. Um, they've got Horning Low, number three. At four quid for a single bottle. If you look on Waitrose, you'll see it. Four quid for a single bottle on a four for six pound deal. So you could buy four of them, 16 quid's worth for six quid. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Scott. So yeah, another uh, IPA. Uh, next two beers are going to be very different. Um, tropical, yeah, like I was saying, that Waitrose, if people go on Waitrose, you've got a Waitrose near you, look at that four for six pound deal, especially when Fuller's Golden Pride's on there and the uh, Horning Low, if you can get that on a four for six, bloody hell, that's some good beers for, on a four for six, uh, I haven't seen anything else to be fair, Yeah, our nearest Waitrose is in Newark. So I work at Newark today, and uh, but it's another three miles into Newark, and I can't be asked to drive it after work. Yeah, I'm hoping to get my... Um... S 14% scrumpy. Oh, bless you. I have an address. I thought it was very Tysky, very much like Tysky in both the design. I took a photo of it, yeah, that's why it's there. 50 years old today, camera, eh? I don't agree totally with a lot, all of cameras. You know, they, I, I, I find camera in some ways to be a bit um, 
what's the word? Snobby-ish in some ways, in some ways. But obviously what they're saying, the campaign for real air, you can understand that. Hmm, sometimes. I mean, just because some things are lager, I've got a, um, an A27, I think it is, or an A71. Might be an A71. No, no. <laughs> yeah, you'll upset somebody. Good evening. Yeah, uh, my son came on, but the, he's got somebody being a dickhead. Good evening. Yeah, he's got somebody who's been a, a twat and he's tried to hack my son's phone. And I think he actually got in. Uh, although I'm surprised because Google, Google's, Google's security is pretty decent, you know. Um, but they haven't tried anything since. And I've told my son not to watch the channel anymore. Because if he's not, if he's not watching the channel, then if anybody comes on acting the twat, that's why there's a lot of people with spanners now after their name. So if anybody starts acting the twat, there's bound to be somebody with a spanner and they'll just fuck them off. You don't need it. We don't, none of us need that shit when we're doing reviews. I review a bit just to get away from life. You know, uh, talk about life, obviously, because we all like to talk about life. But we don't want the we don't want the stupidity of someone being a dickhead, you know. Yeah, you know these days, be very careful with emails. You know, if it's a dodgy email, do not click PDF files, attachments, and go through links because these things can read stuff on your phone. Same with your computer. Yeah, you know, you've got to be street smart. It's like when some idiot rings you up. Did Paul have a live earlier today? Paul's beer reviews, that is. I like him, I do. He's proper straight down the middle. He's, you look at him and you know that he's, he don't, there's no bullshit involved. He's proper straight down the middle. Oh, he's still online, is he? Oh, God knows. What, has he got another... Um, low pub or whatever he calls it. I noticed there's quite a the quite a few of these uh, pub things. Oh banter! You can't beat a bit of banter. Good evening. You know banter makes as long as it's not offensive banter. But between friends, banter can be a good thing because people know that you're not being awful. <laughs> Ah, Lord's Brewing. Is that John, the one who shaved his beard off? There you go, now I need to shave. Looks bloody awful. And it's making me itch like a bastard. Yeah, you can't beat a bit of banter. I'm all up for a bit of, for a bit of piss taking, you know. But you look in the mirror, you look in the mirror these days and you think, oh my God, what's happened? There's a fly in the room. <clears throat> so... To end this review, round about on the 20 minute mark. Um, we're all the same, aren't we? You know. And to be fair, what I don't what, what I try not to do is say something that hits hits a chord with somebody. Because um yeah, hitting the chord with somebody, you know, it I don't I don't want to be upsetting people. That's certainly not on my agenda, you know. I've got enough shit in life about upsetting people. <clears throat> so, yeah, Orangey Paul, um, Whitehead, big Whitehead, quite a, on it. This is a Strata IPA. There you go. Timeless. 6.5%. Uh, first, first ever beer from Boxcar Brewery. Got it uh, in a low cost beer, beer hall. Um, yeah. Very juicy, very tropical. Uh, I got a load from Drink Supermarket, but you can get them from um, Sainsbury's and all sorts. Got to be honest, um, 
it is a very nice drink. It is very juicy, very tropical, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I need to. I've I've had a lot of IPAs recently. <laughs> yeah, I've been on the Arboretum, working from five in the morning, and these two girls climbed over the gates, and uh, they walk they walked past at the bottom of the garden. I don't think they see me. I was planting. And they walked past and I thought, well, where are they going? And uh, next minute they're on the grass going for it. I, had to, I was I was looking round the back, round the shrubs to have a nose to see what was going on. Because they shouldn't be on the park anyway. But uh, as you do, being nosy, yeah, they're really going for it. Oh dear, oh dear. Hey. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I left them to it and what carried on with my work after 20 minutes. But anyway, um, and that's not a lie either. Yeah, no, no pics. No, not in them days. Didn't have a phone in them days. <clears> that was some time ago now. But they, yeah, they was passionate. Oh dear. Yeah. Lots of lickies. <clears throat> but I'm not going to go down that road anyway. Yeah, there's some things in life. You know, there's some things I forget. And there's some things in life that you totally remember. And I totally remembered that. <laughs> um yeah good juice fest of a beer um well you get a lot of these that do dogging don't you and all that sort of thing the only time I've, I've ever come across dogging was when i went to lock the toilets up one day in the arboretum the public toilets uh not sure yet it's going to be something dark, though. It's not going to be an IPA. I've had enough of IPAs. I've just just about had, an, had enough. Maybe. Um, yeah, too many juice. I need, I, I, need, I need something other than juice. Um, anyway, I was locking the toilets one day and uh, went in. I hate going in. I hate going, hate going in the toilets. And uh, no one in, no one in the urinals, no one in one of the one of the cubicles was locked. The other one was open, uh, locking up anybody in. And uh, out they come. Next minute, first the bloke, one bloke walked out, and I thought, oh, is that it then? And then another bloke walked out with the dog, and the and the dog was limping. So God knows what was going off there. Obviously, the two blokes had been doing something, but that's just like the dog. It wasn't getting any of it either. No, not there's no public toilets now. No, thank God. No. So. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, fucking hell. I've, I've seen disgusting on another level. <laughs> you want to try working on public parks? I've seen it all. Um, for me, around about a 4.2 out of 5. No, I haven't seen George Michael. I've seen a lot of people, though. A lot of blokes with wives going into to public toilets looking for a bit of uh, action. Um, yeah, about a 4.2 out of 5. I don't know if I've just got uh, a bit of IPA fatigue, as it were. But yeah, um, yeah. But it was a nice enough beer. Probably caught me on a bad night. As long as we can't see you on camera, that's all good. Um, right, back in two minutes with another beer review and something very different. Good evening. I'm just about to kill this beer review. I do apologise. And uh, I'm back in two minutes. Cheers. There's something dark, hopefully.